This is the Ukrainian Education Ministry, where university students are now in charge. The sign says, students welcome. Just show an ID card and walk right in. Everyone else must stay out for now. Inside, students study the portraits of past education ministers, with the just ousted minister dubbed the destroyer of Ukrainian education. The students are organized. A force of mostly young men is ready to defend the building. There is a command center in an auditorium where students meet to discuss issues or just to hang out. Strict rules forbid smoking, drinking, and the destruction of anything. To ensure that, the students have blocked off whole sections of the building. My name is Anton Savidi. I'm um, a student of uh, Lviv University. On the grand hallway outside the minister's office, students have put makeshift seals on the doors. We don't want any documents and can say something for us about corruption uh, to, to, to disappear from here. The students say they will open the doors later, with investigators and TV cameras present. At a news conference, their spokesman said they want input into the selection of the new minister and reform of the education system. And long-term, 23-year-old law student Milada Kashuretz says she wants much more. This is my real hope, really, to have changes and better life. Not by changing faces, but by changing the system to build the country where the human rights and the uh, rule of law are the, like, the, the, the most important things. Those are ambitious goals, but Milada thinks the Ukrainian young people are better able to achieve them than the older generation was. There is a problem in all the post-Soviet countries that all those elder people they lived uh, inside of the Soviet system. This generation that is now our students, they uh, have been growing up in the independent country, in the open world. That's why they, they may propose some new approaches to the system. Milada says she wants her children to grow up in a country where they won't be killed in the streets just because they disagree with the government, what she calls a normal, civilized country without fear. Al Pesin, VOA News, Kiev.